Hey, this is the Shack that Dennis built, and today I am going to show you how to build a picket fence. And so please join me in this episode. But before you go watching this episode, make sure you like my video and subscribe to my channel so you can get updates on all the projects that I'm doing. So in preparation for the fence, I'm cutting the ears off. One ear, two ear. I'm going to cut them off an inch so that this is going to be the top, a little bit decorative. And what I've done is I've created a jig for my chop saw here. I've got this measured out, screwed a board in here. And then over here I put a guide so that when you grab a board, like so, and you put it in the jig, fits in there pretty nice, doesn't it? And you cut, you're going to cut those ears off. And what you do is you flip it around like so, put it back in there, take another cut, little jig to get us started. Let's do a jig. Oh, yeah. And we've drilled the holes. We've covered them up because we're not able to get them today. But we've got stuff covering all the holes. Two by fours covering the holes. And so what we did is we used an auger. We rented a power auger and just about killed ourselves because it's an incredible amount of work. And we dug those holes. Got some more digging to do to clean them out. But we got them dug all the way to the end. We have the post, our 4x4 post. We got our concrete, some stakes. And we're getting ready to put our first post in. We're going to start in this corner over here. And here's our first hole. As you can see, we're about 20 inches deep. So we're ready to put our first, first post in. Drop a little bit of gravel in the bottom of that. Give it a nice base. And then we'll tamp it down with the post. Now we're going to take this post, stake it down at the bottom, screw it at the top, and that will make sure that we get that plumb. And we'll do the same thing. We're going to run another one off this side here, make sure it gets plumb. So the first thing I want to do is square that post up so that it runs right down to the next post. You can see right here, I got a big gap right there. The back side, so I'm going to turn the post a little bit and so that it's running square. And that's pretty good. Get my trusty level out here. And you can see that the bubble is off. That's our first post. Got it up there. Let's run the level on that. You can see that it's plumb this way. And it's plumb that way. All right, so now at the bottom here, put a couple stakes in, hold it in place. And putting our stake in. That's ready for concrete. And there we got the concrete in. A little bit more concrete, ready for water. Fill this thing up with water. That water will soak on down through there in a couple hours. Be nice and solid. Got all four corner posts in. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take off the, the braces. I've had these sitting for a couple days. Then we'll run a string line across there and we'll set the post in between. So, post off. Got this nice little deal my wife got me. A magnetic wrist brace to hold my screws kind of cool. One off. Now 
can attach it down pretty low. Now we know where our posts are going to be. Filming that good looking guy, aren't you? Woo! We got this little handy dandy postal digger. Postal digger has measurements of how deep that's going to be. You're supposed to go about one fourth, one third below. It's going to be, we're going to put a four foot post in. So, and what that means is about 12 to 16 inches. So we'll just take a little bit more dirt out. All right, so I'm gonna take a post, drop it in the hole, right where it's supposed to be. Okay. Couldn't get too much better than that. So we like the, the concrete to be an inch or so below so we can cover it with dirt, but also because when you put water in there, what happens is that'll you know fill up with water. That'll be better for the, the setting of the quick food. This is the moment we have all of our posts up. Check out all the posts. Got them temped up. Nice long fence. All the concrete in, all the way up. And now we're getting ready to work on the fence. There's raw talent right there. Raw talent. Absolutely amazing. Incredible. Getting ready to snap a line here. This is a six foot fence. So I'm gonna put a, uh, a top rail at five foot. I'm gonna put the bottom rail at one foot. And so I'm gonna snap a line all the way across. So we'll run our line across. Pull that thing tight. And get a far back view of me snapping the line. Pull the line like this. Snap that thing. So what I've done is I've squared, taken my square, little speed square, and I've squared all the way around the post. Then, got this fastened on here right, right on the line, and so my saw is going to cut off right there. So I'm going to just use that as my little line, and watch this, here we go. One post down. Only 23 to go. All right, so we got on this side of the fence, we got our laterals up, two of them. Got a couple of pickets in, one here and one down at the far end down there. And what we're going to do is we're going to stretch a line across the top from here to here. So we'll have all those pickets exactly the same on the top. What we did over here, over here, look at this. We put a 45 degree angle cut here on the top. If you can see that right there, up here, 45 degree angle cut for our corners. And we ran this by just because it's a little short for the house. And here at the gate, what I've done because the concrete was so wide, I didn't want my gate so wide, I attached this another four by four here and here. So that make the gate a little bit more manageable.
Works great. So we basically have the first side up. Doesn't that look nice? Got the outside done. Take a look at the inside, see how we did that. Absolutely gorgeous looking fence. All right, well, we got the fence finished except the gate. We'll be working on the gate next, but just want to show you the finished product. Looking pretty nice. Got it all the way down the line. Got a little return there at the end. We just finished the fence. I just put the gate in. We put some nice, beautiful looking hardware, little butterfly hinges going on here. I got the gate. I got the fence. This is the shack that Dennis built, and this is the fence that sits at the shack that Dennis built. Thank you. I helped. I helped. I helped.